So one of the tenants that I have ended up uh, sending me a text last night saying that her toilet is giving her some problem um, and her water bill has been a little bit high and that's not cool. So I wanted to rush down here as soon as I could uh, to get a chance to check out what it is. And I did earlier before doing this. I just got back from the parts store. So I'm actually just going to replace what she has uh, that's going on with her toilet um which is actually really simple it's just the float uh it's getting stuck in the bottom position so if any if you know anything when it gets stuck in the bottom position it doesn't go up it doesn't shut off so uh the water will continuously fill the tub uh causing your water bill to go up uh so we're gonna take a look at that fix that for her real quick and be on our way you know um then we can get back to working on the jeep quick as we can so come and join me real quick let's uh knock on the door and see if uh we can bust this out as quick as possible right, let's go oh Hello. Hi. I'm here to fix the toilet. Come on in. Oh, hey. Oh. Nice. I like how you do into the house. Yeah. That's what I was here. Okay. Let's take a look at this. You guys hear that? That's the issue going on. So, I want to shut down the main water line down here. Shut them down. Shut that down first. And then we just want to flush the toilet because this is the part that we're going to be replacing. Um, just went and got one of these uh, Fluid Master uh, toilet fill valve. These are really cheap. They have some uh, higher priced ones um, that are like $14. Uh, this one's a pretty cheap one. It's just 8 bucks. You don't really need everything that's inside of it. Um, I've done this plenty of times. I don't need that manual. some more of this water out. Now, I didn't bring the shop back. Um, I could ask the tenant for some rags, but I'm not gonna bother with that. Not right now, but um, that's how it works, guys. I'm gonna show you with this, because it's a hard angle to get on the bottom down here. <laughs> hard angle to get that down there so I'm gonna show you this but you see this nut that's right here this white one it's the same one that's right here so this comes on the top through the hole and on the bottom down here you take this nut and you close it this gasket is what prevents water from flowing through go to the hole okay so that's basically as simple as that. Let's take out the other one. Um, we might have to, we have to connect the water line to it after we've applied the nut. So this will go in. This goes on the bottom of the toilet, on this side. Once you have that on, you connect the water line to this part and then you're ready to go. So let's go down there and Try to tackle that. Let's get some, get some of this stuff out of the way. So, I might. So, this one's gonna be the water line right here. Like I said, I'm gonna get a little wet, but we'll clean this up afterwards. We won't leave this for the tenant like that. And then, this is the, wa the washer that I was telling you guys that comes with our kit. We just loosen this. 
Once this is off, this plastic nut, this pushes up. Or, or we can come up from the top up here. Come up from the top up here and just lift up on it. Like I said, it's gonna be water spilled everywhere. Um, I didn't think it was gonna be this much water, so let me see if I can call the tenant real quick and have them bring me a bucket or a rag. Or so, right here, like I said, guys, you just take this, I just drop it in, right? This gasket has to be in the top. It has to be in the tub itself so that the water doesn't flow through. Then we can take the new one right, and go on the bottom and tighten it. I recommend to have this pointed in a direction to where it doesn't get stuck or caught in something because you want to be able to adjust the water level uh, with this right here. You see how on this knob it says tank water with a plus sign and a minus sign. You just turn it in that direction and either add more water to the tank right here, to the tank, Right, it either adds more water to the tank or less water, and that controls how much water you use every time you flush. So, if we want, we could just reuse this old wire, this old hose that's right here. Um, but this is this is junk, this is broken now. Take the old hose, there's a little nipple right here. Let's tap it. Actually, I like to wait till last to put that in. So let's just go down on, under here and add this nut. And it's always more fun to do this when everything when everything is wet now. You just want to hand tighten it. Now we can just add the water line again. I want to cross thread, so you want to start slow. Make sure it's lined straight. Okay. Now. We can just open it and test to see if it's leaking. Hopefully it's not. I don't feel any leak, I don't see anything. All right, let's go up top. That hose that we had. I don't see anything leaking down here, so that's what we got to double check. I don't see anything leaking. That water was already there, so we're just going to wait for that to fill up. And then we're going to do a test flush. There you go, it stopped. And it's not squealing. Boom. You're done. Simple as that. That is how we change the toilet. Now just to put back everything. Like we found it. And to clean up a little bit.
Let me get some stuff to clean this up. We'll be right back. <laughs> 